Good morning, Colin. Um, you've asked me about our tyre troubles here on the Dakar. Yes, certainly it's been a challenge uh, for us. There's no question of that. I haven't got the exact numbers in my mind, but uh, I think that Janil's on 18 now, of which one was definitely a rocky hit and another one a slow puncture. The rest we really can't explain. Uh, Shamir 15 um, and Nasser 7, 6 or 7. Um, Nasser's hit one rock early on, he said, and for the rest, he's really not sure. So the terrain here in Saudi has got quite a lot of sharp, flinty rocks hidden in the sand. And obviously they're causing some, si some uh, problems for us. But a lot of the tires, we can't actually physically see why the tire has gone flat uh, other than around the bead area. It's not any more sealing onto the rim or, you know, it's not sealing there. So something is broken in the in the side of the tyre there and even in the sandy stages when we've had huge impacts. So BFG or Michelin in America are saying that the uh, the tyre is simply not big enough uh, to absorb the energy, whereas the buggy tyre uh, compared to ours is 940 millimetres in diameter and the 4x4 is 805. So the buggy has a lot more uh, time and space for the uh, tyre to roll over the rock Plus, of course, the buggy has got more suspension travel, so that also helps. You know, we're limited to 280, and uh, we believe the buggies, uh, the leading minis, have got somewhere around about 400. So it's con considerable, uh, considerably more in terms of time and space for the uh, tyre to roll over the rock to take out the energy. So BFG are pushing um, the authorities to to allow a, a larger, bigger diameter tyre on the 4x4s to give them uh, some scope to be able to make a tyre because at the moment, or a stronger tyre, because at the moment uh, the bottom line is if, uh, if punctures are deciding the victory in terms of um, time lost, uh, then it's not really how we want the race to be. And whether, as Janil, and he's got plenty of experience, so Janil says, whether you drive slowly or fast, seems to make more no difference. Shamir had a puncture going into the marathon, used the same tyres, coming from the marathon stage to here, had zero punctures. Yazid had four, on four new tyres of identical construction. So, um, really, we don't know. And you can imagine the frustration uh, not only for myself, but the, for the whole team, when you start a stage like today, you don't really know if you're going to have uh, one puncture, two or three. And of course, as soon as you have more than three, you are at a disadvantage. Uh, you got to stop to wait for somebody. But also having to carry three tires the whole time, it's another 32 kilograms in the car and the drivers can feel that. So that's another disadvantage on top of the punctures which you see. On the days when NASA only has maybe one or two punctures, he's still carrying the weight of the third spare for the entire length of uh, of the stage. So I hope this answers some, you know, uh, questions and and uh, gives you some idea of what we are going through as a team and uh, to understand that the Saudi terrain is certainly very different to South America. Although the tire that we're using was introduced in 2018 in south america and that first year we had trouble where they were coming off the wheel rims the the what we call is the bead uh, brake pressure was literally the same as the pressure that you run in the car to bar so um there we had troubles the following year we did uh, a tire development was specifically for the sand no more coming off the rims and we won 2019 20 we came here these sharp rocks, uh, I think we had 38 uh, punctures in our team last year. So we've not been able to improve that much. However, Nasser is doing an incredible job with Matthew. So uh, really t keeping the car extremely slow over the rougher parts, losing some time. And the rest uh, seems a little bit of luck and we don't want to depend on that.